keeping up with our motto let learning be joy and teaching be a pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students keeping up with our motto let learning be joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students I am Mrs. Sonal Shadoshi from Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College teaching you all geography today for grade 7 chapter 4 air pressure part 2 As we have already seen air is invisible mixture of gases that surrounds the earth which include nitrogen oxygen that most species need to survive some of the properties of air that we have done is air is invisible air has weight and it occupies space we have also seen that air has pressure what is air pressure air pressure is the weight of air molecules pressing down on the earth surface we have learned that by the way of one experiment in the last session we have also learned that we can measure the air pressure with the help of barometer and altitude of the region and temperature of the region are some of the factors that affects air pressure we have seen that there is an inverse ratio between altitude of the region and air pressure as one moves higher and higher from the surface of the earth the air becomes thinner and thinner as a result the air pressure decreases with increasing altitude and vice versa again there is inverse ratio between air temperature and air pressure temperature and air pressure are closely related whenever the temperature is high the air pressure is low as the temperature rises the air gets heated expands and becomes lighter this lighter air in the vicinity of the earth's surface starts moving up towards the sky as a result the air pressure in such the areas decreases today we are going to learn about temperature zones and pressure belts the unequal heating of the earth and its atmosphere by the sun because of the revolution of earth on its tilted axis causes different in pressure air is a mixture of several gases present in atmosphere and it exerts pressure on the earth surface the pressure got its own weight and weight of air on a unit area is called air pressure which we have learned as we go up the layer of atmosphere the pressure falls rapidly the air pressure is highest at the sea level horizontally the distribution of air pressure is influenced by the temperature of air at a given place the areas where temperature is high the air gets heated and rises and creates a low pressure areas the areas having low temperature the air gets cold and heavy air gets sinks and creates a high pressure area low pressure area is associated with cloudy skies and wet weather and high pressure areas are associated with clear and sunny skies there are three low pressure belts with alternate belts of high pressure let's see some of them pressure belts on the earth surface the heat received from the sun is uneven in different regions 
hence the distribution of the temperature is uneven from the equator to the poles as a result the temperature zones are created pressure belts on the earth on the earth's surface there are seven pressure belts they are equatorial low two subtropical highs two subpolar lows and two polar highs again i am repeating equatorial low two subtropical highs two subtropical subpolar lows and two polar highs except the equatorial low the others form matching pairs in the northern and southern hemispheres that is the pattern of alternate high and low pressure belts over the earth which you can see in this image this is due to the spherical shape of the earth different parts of the earth are heated unequally the equatorial region receives great amount of the heat throughout the year as sun rays fall directly on equator warm air being light the air at the equator rises creating low pressure at the poles the cold heavy air causes high pressure to be created it is also due to the rotation of the earth in the subpolar region around latitude 60 degree to 65 degree north and south of the equator the rotation of the earth pushes pushes up the bulk of the air towards the equator creating low pressure belt in this region as we all know the sun rays fall directly on the equatorial region the equatorial region is between 0 to 5 degree north and 0 to 5 degree south so it is between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn so the temperature is higher in this region as sun rays fall directly hence the air in this region gets heated expands becomes lighter and moves towards the sky as we all know higher the temperature lower the pressure so the temperature in equatorial regions are low due to high pressure so equatorial low pressure belt mid latitudinal high pressure belts as the sun rays fall directly on equator and air gets heated it started moving towards the polar region that is towards the north and towards the south pole due to low temperature at the higher altitudes the air cools down and becomes heavier now the heavier air descends down in both the hemispheres in the region between 25 degree to 35 degree parallels this lead to formation of high pressure belts in the parallels of latitudes in both the hemispheres the air is dry hence the regions does not get rainfall consequently most of the hot deserts on the earth are found in this regions so equatorial regions have low pressure belt due to high temperature and due to the low pressure on equ- equator the air starts moving towards the pole it cools down between 25 degree to 35 degree parallels where they can form high pressure belts the next one is subpolar low pressure belts due to earth curvature the area between two parallels get reduced as we move towards the poles this results in less of friction of the air with the earth's surface air in this region is thrown out because of the reduced friction 
and also because of the earth's rotational motion this leads to the development of low pressure well this condition is observed in the areas between 55 degree and 65 degree parallels in north and south hemispheres the last one polar high pressure belts in both the polar regions the temperature is below 0 degree celsius throughout the year hence here the air is cooled as a result high pressure belts get formed we know temperature low pressure high these are called polar high pressure belts they are generally occupying the area between 80 degree and 90 degree parallels in both the hemispheres so in short the sun rays fall directly on directly on equatorial region so higher the temperature lower the pressure and polar regions are cold so lower the temperature higher the pressure they are easy to remember you have to go through mid high pressure belts and sub polar low pressure belts things to remember the duration and the intensity of the sun rays varies during the particular periods of the year in both the hemispheres as a result the location of the temperature zones and the pressure belts are dependent on the sun's heat also vary this change is of the order of 5 degree to 7 degree towards the north in uttarayan and 5 degree to 7 degree south in dakshinayan this is called the oscillation of pressure belts the major difference between the temperature zones and pressure belts is that the temperature zones are continuous and the spread from the equator to the poles from torrid to frigid pressure belts are not continuous and areas of high and low pressure are found in different regions from the equator to the poles third one the effect of air pressure it affects origin of winds generation of storms convectional type of rain and also affects the breathing activity the line that joins the places of equal pressure on the map is called an isobar thank you students